Hello everyone and welcome to the Horseman Weekly Update. We're back to catch you up on all the latest news happening at Horseman Elementary. We're your hosts, I'm Tiana. And I'm Brooklyn. Today we begin with a big thank you to all who helped our school collect over 500 pounds of plastic for our recycling challenge. A few students really drove the project over the finish line, but it was the collective effort of all the pitched in that helped us successfully achieve our goal. Did you know that it takes about 40,000 plastic shopping bags to equal 500 pounds? That means because of us, there are 40,000 fewer bags going to landfills, or worse, ending up in places where they don't belong, like lakes and streams. You have done an amazing thing for our planet, and oh, what a way to celebrate Earth Day. Now let's take a look at the weather for this weekend with Gage. Saturday will be partly cloudy with a slight chance of showers in the morning in a high of 74 degrees. Sunday will be mostly sunny with a high of 80 degrees. Get out and enjoy preview of summer, but make sure you also rest up Sunday night to be ready for PSSA week. Since we begin PSSA testing next week, we thought it would be a good time to share some helpful tips for testing. Here are Ollie and Raymond with more. Your teachers have certainly been giving you advice for PSSAs, but we asked students at Eisenhower and Horseman to share their ideas on how you can do your best on the PSSA. So, so here's what you had to say. For ELA, go back into the passage to find everything. Read the entire question, all answer the choices before choosing the answer. Have the teacher read the TDA prompt to you. Remember any word, phrase, entire text dependent question, or multiple choice question. Maybe be read, but no text can be read aloud. For math, have your teachers read the question to you. Show all your work. Use a calculator and check your answers. Any word, phrase, or question can be read to you in math. For all tests, ask to have a good questions read aloud. Get a good night's sleep. Eat a good breakfast. Make sure to have a water bottle. Have a novel for when you are done testing. Slow down. Take your time. Use all your resources. Be confident and finish strong, guys. For a few more ideas from friends. Thanks, guys, and thank you all for those helpful tips. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.